cafe. We just called in at uh, Betsy Coed just to have a bit of a look round. Just have a bit of a sniff round. The Gwydir Hotel across the way there, all lit up. A few folks sat round. It's quite late on now, it must be just turned 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, took us a while to get here, didn't it? Because of the, the distance and what have you. This way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, last time, I, you, don't, you don't mind me talking, do you? Or do you mind? No, no, you carry on. Did, you know, when I, I came to your house last uh, Sunday, was it? Yeah. Is this the road down here we looked up on that, on that picture yes. on your computer? It is, yeah. Laptop. And we compared, I was in, in the sort of daylight, didn't you? Uh, yeah. I've got a photo of this road um, back in the 60s and we were looking on the computer just to see what changes have been made over the years and to be fair there's been quite a few as you'd expect from I think it was about 1961 or 2 or something daft so there's been a fair few changes but it's still similar there's a few buildings that have changed a few buildings are missing and uh, there's a few buildings that have been built in recent years now when I'm saying recent years they've probably been there for about 30 or 40 years or whatever but they weren't there in 1961 because there were far older looking buildings there then and they seem to have gone, don't they Jim? That's true, some, was not, some were taken down, weren't they? Yeah. Remember we tried to compare it, we couldn't find it. Yeah. It taken down in the 60s, even 70s, it might even been the 80s. The, the, old, old, the, old, the old clock tower. tower. Yeah. On the church, pity it's not a little bit more lit up. But <laughs> Sign of the times as well, COVID-19, maintain social distance. <laughs> Though... That's gradually coming to an end now. Heading up now to the Royal Oak. Betty Co is pretty much one of the stop offs, isn't it, for Snowden? A lot of the people come here for um, a base, really, when they go in climbing up the mountains around here because there's quite a few. So, a lot of the little shops here are catering really for people who are going climbing up mountains. You know, you get ropes and you get mountaineering gear. A lot of the adverts in the windows are for things like mountaineering gear. There's a dummy dressed up there as though he's off on a hike. And people tend to use the likes of this Royal Oak Hotel as a um, base camp I suppose because you're not talking Everest round here the biggest mountain round here is Snowden and there are tracks where you can just walk up to the top of Snowden so you do need to be prepared you can't just like go in a pair of tracksuits and trainers with a, a bottle of Evian you do need to do a bit of research before you just set off up the mountain 
otherwise you can find yourself in trouble and a lot of people do bit of a car park across the way from the hotel Corvettes and Mercedes and Land Rovers don't get many Maca Peugeot 206s in this car park nice Nice it, it? Yeah, and there's the entry into the hotel. I've never actually been there, to be honest. I mean, I've been past it numbers of times, but I've not, not actually been in there. And across the road from it, you can't really see at the moment because it's so dark, but there is a river. Flowing past. I'm not sure, is it the River D again, this? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure if it's the D. Have to check. The River D does seem to get everywhere around here, but I'm not too sure if it is the D here. But uh, it is a little bit too dark to be able to see anything here at the moment. Yeah. wool shop here selling a variety of woolly items very useful in the winter Let's jump back on the path and there are some bed and breakfasts here as well quite nicely lit up as well looks pretty in the dark Fairhaven B and B. I'm not sure is that Olive, is it? Fairhaven looks quite quiet. No vacancies at the moment, so they're probably uh suffering with COVID, aren't they? You know what I'm trying to find? Is it down here? No, there will be in the 60s, but now you haven't got it. Yes, I think it was on the left hand on the right hand side, sorry. I think the bridge, I've got a photograph, like I was saying, of, it was one that my granddad took and it's in about 1960, I think it's 61, I could be wrong, but it's around about then, and it's a little bit, is it 63 is it? 63, um, and it's a little bit further up the road here. It was on the on the bridge. Back there or up here? I, th I think it's up here. I could be wrong though. It might have been back there. But well, you can go up here then go back there and go back here. All right. It's the stone bridge basically going across mm -hmm. the road and back in the days when he took the photograph mm -hmm. it was quite open and now obviously a lot of these trees have grown up and you can't really see quite as well. Now I think it's coming up on the right the bridge mm. though I could be wrong. Indian cuisine here, Indian takeaway. And that is open at the moment. But hopefully a lot of these buildings will uh, come back to life once the pandemic's over. And everywhere will be back open again. Hawkstead here, adventure ready. Pepper Pig looks like it does quite a few bits and bobs for kiddies.
pity the lights aren't on. You can see a couple of the dummies there with the clothes on. Now I'm not 100% but I think that the bridge I'm looking for is here. It's been a long time since I've been to Betsy Coed but uh, I'm fairly sure that my granddad took the photograph from this point yeah. on this bridge here. Sadly we've just missed out on the daylight so uh, can't get it, can't take the photo perfectly from this area but uh, this is the stone bridge. house across the way with lanterns glowing yeah now this is the point where my granddad would have taken the photo unfortunately pitch black so you can't really see anything but currently I'm pointing at a falls you can hear the falls no doubt but you can't really see it very well if I root in my bag I think I have got a light which would show up the place a little. Just bear with me. So I root in here. And get my lamp out. I don't know if it'll show up that well but that'll pick up that well but we've got the falls here and from this area here my granddad took the photo many 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 moons ago and you could see through the trees ahead now you can't see through the trees ahead now just to the left there's a bit of a gap and you can see the buildings and um, on the other side of the road there's a few street lights and what have you so you can see but on the left hand side you can't see a great deal because the trees have grown up in the last how many years is it 50 50 odd years no god it's um 60 odd years now isn't it i keep thinking we're in the 2010s um so what i'll do i'll walk up a little bit and i'll film some of the areas that uh he's got on his photograph and what I'll do I'll try and figure out a way to uh, put a link to the photo if I can I'll stick it on something online so you can have a look at the photo and see what I mean like I say it's a pity it's the day it's the uh, evening because you can't really see very well which is a shame because we were hoping to get here just before daylight fell but we just missed out just delayed slightly too long. This is the Pont a Pair Inn. And there's a little cash machine here. Very handy if you need some money while you're in here. The Pont a Pair Inn. It's closed at the moment but it has gone 10 o'clock so it may have been open earlier perhaps, I'm not sure. And now this building here the candy hut and some of these buildings on the right hand side I think are new well I say new they weren't there in the in the photo in 1963 and there was a little road in this area here on the right hand side that you can see in the picture which is now um, hedges and gardens and new buildings and things like that. Radio, just carry on. A couple of gentlemen heading towards Liverpool. So I just give them some instructions on how to get there. Yeah. 
a little cafe there. Sharp Rohan. Now on the photo of my granddad's, this building's in it. You can see this and you can see that one. Possibly see a little bit of the cafe. The windows are the same in this one, really, I think. I'm sure they were a different colour, though. I think they were red. The windows are changing that one, obviously. Now this bit here, on the right, that was a road. And this building here wasn't here. It was a different building. Or at least it looks a different building anyway. Because it's across the road from the chapel, which is just across there. I've got to say, when I look at that though, it does yeah. look quite new. I haven't seen 10 years, about the 80s, maybe 70s. It looks about 30, 40 years old, but it doesn't look yeah. like the 40s, 50s, really old, like 60, 70 years. No. It looks quite newish. There is like a driveway going down there that heads around the back where to that used to be part of the old little road thing that you can see on the picture I don't know it could be this is a gallery here now this was um, this this whole thing here I'm sure is is new it's got chimneys which kind of confuses me but then possibly if it was built in 1966 it might have still had chimneys I don't know there's a chapel there, and there's a tea capel there, a chapel house, so um, that must be where the, the vicar lives. Yeah, but most of most of these buildings along here are, um, are new. Or newish. <laughs> now when you get back up to this end, I'm not quite sure, because the picture was taken from that bridge back there with the 60s camera, so some of these buildings may have existed this one on the end perhaps i don't know about the fascia on the front not too sure about that but uh and this one too may have existed but those down there the gallery i don't think that they were there then there's a little bed and breakfast across the road here again and another place to get climbing gear. And there's some gorgeous little houses along the way. And a few more bed and breakfasts and things like that. I'm not quite sure. We could carry on. Do you want to carry on a little bit more? Yeah, of course. Yeah, go for it. I don't mind. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> just take a peek up here. We may be coming out of town. sure if we're heading out of town now because it's not a very big place really Betsy covered but again little bed and breakfasts there's a pottery at the end there advertised and these buildings are obviously quite old they've been there for a number of years Hiverith, is it? Guest house. Come review. Bed and breakfast there. And Betsy Coe pottery.
this side of the road now is nothing really, not a great deal, just fields. Talking point guest house. Some of them are a little bit dark still at the moment, so it may be the case that they're not open yet. There's a little field across the way. Sam El Grand. Seeing them everywhere at the moment. Yeah, and I think these 40 limit signs are saying pretty much coming to the end of town. There's some um, bed and breakfasts or whatever they are, just a little bit further down. Just walk as far as the bed and breakfast perhaps, eh? And then Head back. I've just paid to park in the car park here. There, there are places all over the place where you can park for free, but um, it's only it's a, it's a pound if you get here at night from about, I think it's eight o'clock. It might be six o'clock. You'd have to check. Um, The um, hopefully the money in the car park gets put back into the town. In the daytime it's a little bit more expensive. When I get back I'll have a look at the prices. And uh, give you an idea as to how much it costs to park in these places. I think this is a Chinese takeaway but I'm not quite sure. I could be wrong. Yeah, the dragon. And it's a hotel as well, so... You can get to the dragon for a, a Chinese and then spend the night, get yourself a Chinese breakfast. It's a Chinese takeaway and a hotel. Is it? Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? It's got a five hygiene rating. It's always a good sign. There's a what? Sorry. Is there? Oh yeah, yeah. Gathered around the tree, you can just about see them. There's a pile down there. Glan Flugui, is it? Guest house. Private parking. No smoking. I think that's it. I think that's a private house at the end, and then yeah. we're off out then. Further into Wales. Off into the mountains for a climb. Yeah, so there we have it. It's a little short walk through Betty Covid at night. <laughs> Not unusual for me, is it? And there's Betty Covid back up there. 
I'll have to get that photo out now and have a look. Let's see how it tallies up. I'll get some pictures as well. Okay. Okay, we're heading back to the car. The Royal Oak Hotel is just up the way there. We've walked down. And found this little place here. I don't know if it'll pick it up okay. It's a bit a bit bright really for the camera but in the window there it's got dog wash. It's like a little place for getting your your dog cleaned, I suppose after you've been climbing up the mountains or whatever. There's a little <laughs> little dog having a bath. the shops on the main road and this road heads back down to the car park and there's someone out taking the pooch for a walk now we're just heading back down to the car one of the good things about this place is it's got a night toilet so if you get here late on unlike most of Wales where the loos are all padlocked you can actually Nip to the loo on the way home. <coughs> so well done, Betty Coed, for having that feature. Mm. It's very handy, especially if you're diabetic, isn't it, Jim, to have a loo? Oh, yeah, oh, you're right, yeah. <laughs> Certainly, yeah, it's quite true, yeah. You're not wrong, Andrew. Yeah, it is, yeah. This little cut through path here leads back down to the main car park and uh, a few shops. There was a cafe up the road here that was open when we arrived. Well, it was, it was the lights were on, it wasn't open, it shut at half eight, but uh, it opens till about half past eight and sells takeout pizza as far as I can gather. I think that leads down to more car park because the car parks around here are quite extensive. Mm, I think it's possibly coach park down there. Paying display. Have a quick sniff at the prices as well. Give you an idea if you ever come here. Anne Marie said she wouldn't stop here because there's not much to do. <laughs> shops. Ten past eleven now. Betty Coed railway station. I don't know if that's part of the main line. Is Betty Coed on the main line, Jim? Do you I know? It, is. it might be, yeah. I'm not sure myself. I don't think it is, no. I think. Is that the train station, is it? Yeah, Betty Coed. Just there. So, uh A Wi-Fi symbol up there, so there must be free Wi-Fi. Nice green shop, and then finest fish and chips. N E M O, I'm assuming Nemo. Fish and chips, and they do pizzas as well. A little bit dark here. The lights have all been turned off now, but there's a few other shops here. That one looks like it sells beer. Where you've got the lights there, just to the left, is a little cafe place. It's all in darkness now. There's another ice cream type place. Toilets, telephone box. The night toilet is there, straight ahead. It's 
so useful if you need it. Back into the car park and there's the uh, there's the car park machine. And you can't see because it's pitch black but up to an hour is a pound, up to two hours is two pound and up to four hours is five pound. And from 8 o'clock until, no, 6 o'clock, sorry, 1800, until 8 o'clock in the morning, it's a pound. And disabled park for free. And so this is the short stay. There may be a long stay, perhaps. Perhaps that's what that one is down there, maybe. Perhaps you can stay a bit longer down there. Right, oh, so there's Betty Code anyway. Hope you enjoyed. I have absolutely no idea if this will come out. But in the distance, there's something lit up in the sky. I think it's a helicopter or something. And we're in the middle of the moors. Right, right in the middle of nowhere. I mean, absolutely nowhere. And there's like a pulling point. Yeah. And there's a tree. Right in the middle of the Denby Moors. Lit. A load of tree branches. And it's got tiny little Christmas tree lights flashing on it. Literally in the middle of the Denby Moors in the middle of nowhere there's a tree and I think this will just about pick it up and then in the distance there's a a light which has pretty much gone away now just in the middle of the moors, right in the middle of nowhere and you can't see anything probably. The stars are not that bright. But it's just bizarre that there's this little tree in the middle of the Denby Moors. And I think you can just about pick up the flickering probably on the lens, but how bizarre. And that light in the sky is gone now. Vanished. Very unusual. I'm assuming it was an aeroplane or something, just odd.